now we are doing exercise 14.1 question number 5 so let me write down the question so here is the question the following are the weight in kg of 20 pupils in a class so these are the weights using tele marks form an ungrouped frequency table they were showing the frequency and cumulative frequency columns also find the three measures of standard energy of the data so we need to form a frequency table using tele marks so let us write down first so now let us write down weight in kg let me write down in here so weight in kg so if you happen to find out weight in kg so what are the weights so 26 right in order 27 26 27 and if you can see here 28 is also there 28 is there 27 28 so right on 28 here 28 and 30 is there 31 is there 32 is there 35 is there 36 is also there 37 is also there 40 is there 41 42 and 45 so these are the weight in kg given in our data so next is frequency or number of pupils number of pupils frequent frequency frequency number of pupils so how many students are there who are 26 kg so one so 26 is one and two so there are two so let me write down not frequency so tele marks first let me write down tele marks tele marks so how many are there who have 26 kg two so two how many who have 27 kg so this is one only so 27 is 1 how many have 28 28 is 1 and 2 so 28 is 2 how many have 30 so 30 is 1 2 so 30 is also 2 how many have 31 31 1 so 31 is only 1 so write down only 1 how many 32 1 2 3 so 32 is 3 so 32 1 2 3 35 how many 35 1 so this must be 35 i think yeah so 1 2 so 35 is 2 so write down 1 2 how many 36 36 is 1 so 36 also 2 right so write down 1 2 how many 37 so 37 is 1 how many 38 no 38 39 no 39 40 40 is also 1 45 also 1 41 also 1 42 also 1 so rest are all 1 from 37 onwards so 1 1 1 one 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 so let me write down the frequency frequency or number of student okay number of pupils so from the question has asked us to use using telemarks form an ungrouped frequency table so let us form the frequency table so two is here so write down two one is here so write down one two is here so two two one three two two one 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 okay so let us check we are correct or not two plus one three four five six seven eight eight plus three eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty so total is twenty so we are correct now we have formed an ungrouped frequency table there was showing the frequency and cumulative frequency so we have shown the frequency so now we need to find out the cumulative frequency let me represent it by cf cumulative how you are going to find write down the first number two okay 
So next number will be 2 plus 1, it will be 3. 3 plus 2, it will be 3 plus 2, 4, 5. 5 plus 2, it will be 5, 6, 7. 7 plus 1, it will be 8. 8 plus 3, it will be 11. 11 plus 2, it will be 13. 13 plus 2, it will be 15. 15 plus 1, 16. 16 plus 1, 17. 17 plus 1, 18. 18 plus 1, 19. 19 plus 1, 20. So this is cumulative frequency. Now what is the next thing they are asking? Frequency also find the three medians measures of central tendency of data. So we need to find out three measures of central tendency are mean, median and mod. So we need to find out mean, median and mod. So let us find mean first. Okay. In order to find mean, we need to find out something called fi xi so what is fi xi so this is fi suppose and this is xi then multiply fi and xi so 26 26 into 2 it will be 52 right 26 to the 52 27 into 27 into 1 right 27 1 the 27 28 into 2 8 to the 16 so 56 next is 30 into 2 30 to the 60 31 into 1 it is 31 32 into 3 3 to the 6 3 to the 9 35 into 2 it is 70 36 into 2 6 to the 12 72 37 into 1 it is 37 40 41 42 and 45 so this is fi xi and you are going to add all these things 7 8 9 9 plus 6 15 16 16 plus 6 22 23 24 24 plus 7 it is 31 31 32 34 34 plus 5 39 so 3 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 5 15 15 6 21 21 plus 3 24 24 plus 9 33 33 plus 7 40 47 48 for 9 50 54 54 plus 4 58 58 plus 8 62 62 plus 4 62 plus 4 it is 66 so it is 669 so now we need to find out mean therefore mean the formula for mean is summation of fi xi divided by n. So what is summation of fi xi? This one is the one. This is summation of fi xi 669. So write down here. Let me write down 669. And what is n? n is this one. Total frequency n is equal to 20. So write down 20 here. So divide 669 by 20, 669. So 26 is uh, 60, again 69, 26 is uh, 60, and 9, and 66.90. So 24 is uh, 80, and 10, and from here comes 10 here, and 25 is uh, so 66.4, oh, no, no, 2, 3 is uh, 6, sorry, 2, 3 is uh, 6. 33.45 yeah. 33.45 33 is the mean i hope you understand this much now let us find out median so therefore median so how to find out median so you know there are n is 20 it is even number so you divide so median in order to find median so we need to find out 20 okay divided by 2 so n divided by 2 20 divided by 2 it is 2 tens of 20 and another is 20 divided by 2 plus 1 which is 10 plus 1 it is 11 okay 11 and 10 so 10 plus 11 divided by 2 which will be 10.5 so now you search here 10.5 in cumulative frequency you will not get 10.5 you can get 11 right so this one 11 okay the middle one is 11 right 20 divided like middle one is 11 either it is 10.5 actually but we don't have 10.5 it is 11 so find out the weight which is 11 
that which in which cumulative frequency is 11 it is 32 right so median is equal to 32 i hope you understood how i did 20 is n okay n divided by 2 n divided by 2 plus 1 which is 10 plus 1 11 and 10 and 11 you add these two divided by 2 10.5 okay and find out the median i hope you understood this much median is 32 now next let me draw all this now what's next the question is asking us to find the stream measure so, so we need to find out mode now so therefore mode now mode means things that has occurred maximum number of time so if you look here carefully what is the frequency what is the weight wh wh what number of students has occurred maximum number of time that is 33 right 3 is maximum in frequency right so this one 32 is mode so mode is also equal to 32 because 32 has occurred maximum number of time that's all that's all thank you so much we will meet in the next video